Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I painted these poppies with watercolor. So let's get started. For this painting, I decided to paint directly on the watercolor paper without sketching first. If you feel more comfortable using an outline, make sure to use really light pencil lines that you can erase at the end so you don't lose that delicate effect. I mixed up a peachy color for my Daniel Smith paints using my cool red and yellow and a touch of opera pink which is a really bright, vibrant, almost neon pink color. I'm painting on Fabriano cold press watercolor block. I'm using a lot of watery pigment to paint in these base layers of the petals using just a touch of the pigment and a lot of water. I also want to paint all of these in the first layer in one go to avoid any hard edges within the insides of the petals. To get this particular effect of the transparent petals, I'm adding more concentrated pigment on the very edges of the petals and dropping water into the middle of the petal and kind of pushing that pigment outwards and leaving the centers of the petals a little bit uh, lighter in hue and more watery. This will help with the transparent effect at the end. So here I'm adding a little bit more of that water, dropping it right into the middle and kind of pushing it outwards to try to push that pigment right to the edges of those petals. I'm going to let that first layer of the poppy dry and start the next one. This one is more front facing, so there'll be these three petals uh, facing in pretty much equal sizes, top and bottom. And I'm doing the same thing, adding some water to the middle of the petals and pushing it outwards towards the edges. Now for this third poppy, and this one will be upward facing like the first one, again adding the deeper peach orange color to the edges and pushing the pigment from the middle outwards. Starting now on the first bud, I paint the light peach, then I add more bold, intense peach to it on one side. I had mixed up a deep green color ahead of time as well, and then I just add the paint to the bottom of the bud right next to that wet peach color, letting it mix and spread a little bit. Adding a little darker green at the very base there, and then just dragging it down into the stem. The 
The same thing for the next bud. I let the green blend into the wet peach paint, adding some darker green on the bottom, and then adding the intense peach color. I did it a little backwards on this one, but it has pretty much the same effect. And letting that green mix a little bit into that peach color does give it a fresh, modern look. The first poppy is completely dry, so I am painting the second layer. Again, I'm keeping it nice and watery, and I don't want to cover up the first layer. I am adding a little bit more intensity with the concentrated peach on the edges, and really using water drops to push the paint to the edges. Now for the greens on this one, and the petals probably could have stood to dry a little bit longer as it starts moving up and bleeding into the peach a little bit farther than I had wanted, but I can blot it a bit as it dries, um, but that's something to keep in mind is timing with the wetness of the paper. And now just dragging that stem all the way down. Same with the second poppy, I'm painting these petals in between the first ones, making sure not to cover up the first layer, adding more concentrated color on the edges, and using water once again to push the pigments away from the center of the petals.
Now for poppy number three, same as the others, and I apologize for the shakiness of the camera for this bit. I have a bit more blue added to this green mix just for a little variety in the painting. Now back to that second poppy. The center is still fairly damp but not super wet so this is the best time to add that dark center. It will still make a soft edge because of the dampness, but it won't run too far since the paper is not as wet, there's a little bit more control. I mixed a dark, neutral, bluish purple for the center ahead of time. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you give this technique a try. It's a lot of fun when you get into it and you can use it on lots of different flower petal shapes and colors. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more watercolor tips and inspiration. Happy painting, and I will see you next time.